Hi everyone, welcome back to Croatia where today we have our first day of action cleaning a underwater cave system. The cave we are cleaning is called Hupetjesa and is located near Ogulan in Croatia. This type of cave is part of the karst topography of this region, characterized by a complex maze of interconnected cave systems, sinkholes and above ground streams. As a consequence of this, some fascinating ecosystems have flourished in these caves with some really unusual creatures and, sometimes, when the caves are isolated for long enough, they may even contain species that only exist in a single cave, much like a lonely island in a vast ocean. This particular cave is home to the Olm, listed by the IUCN as vulnerable to extinction. The Croatian Dace, which is only known to exist in this cave and is listed as critically endangered by the IUCN, and Eunapius subterraneus, which is the only freshwater sponge in the world that lives in caves and currently isn't even on the IUCN list due to data deficiency. In the past, this cave was used as a dump site, and while a lot of the surface waste has been removed, there's still the underwater waste to contend with. The mix of trash down there includes large plastic and metallic objects and electronic appliances, with an estimated volume of approximately 16 cubic meters. Many of these materials take centuries to degrade and will continue to release toxic chemicals into the cave water if they are not removed. This is a unique and wonderful world that lives on the edge of what is known to science and on the brink of extinction, which is why Tiago, one of our biologists here at Mossy Earth, selected this project for us to carry out with the funds from our amazing Mossy Earth members. Our plan for this cleanup is to split into two teams, one from each side of the cave system. Dushan, who you might recognize from David Attenborough's documentary called Attenborough's Ark, will dive with Tomislav on one side, and they will try to bring up the trash up to the pit, from where it will be pulled up with ropes. It is very easy to get the rubbish in, but the rubbish out... Rubbish out is more complicated. Yeah. There is a big cooking stove inside, so we need to try to break it apart and then uh, take piece by piece. So that, that will probably be a challenge. the ropes so that we can go down the pit and this is where we will be extracting the the waste from uh, so essentially the waste that they'll be collecting but through the diving it will all have to come out through here and uh, yeah that's the plan <laughs> and it's a good one <laughs> On the other side we have Petra, who will dive with Nevin to try and clean up as much as they can with the lower visibility of the lake and bring out the trash directly there. They also have a side mission to go check on the freshwater sponges and see how they are doing. Back 
Back in the pit, the first team is starting to pull out some of the waste. Quite difficult. Quite difficult? Yeah. So the water still flows inside, so like when we are taking it out, mm -hmm. it flows uh, into us and like mm -hmm. some pieces are quite big, so like, you know, it gets you a, pull a lot, lot of pull, yeah, yeah. But the good thing is that the endemic fish are here. Uh, I saw at least like 100 of them. Wow. Which is like, usually, usually previously we would maybe see five, six of them and that's it, but now the populations are recovering. In the lake, Petra and Nevin have run into the largest piece of waste we have found today, a wheel. As the rest of the team was finished, we joined forces to try and pull it out with a rope. We will, uh, what he, he proposes, there is a hole in the part of the, this big wheel. Uh, we will take the rope through the center and just clip it on the other side and then uh, you will yeah. have to pull yeah. it out. It, because of the weight and the uh, state is in. Once it's in the shell, we can expect it to fall apart. What was the conclusion, Petra? Too heavy to lift? We need a lift back. A big, uh, a big lift back. Yeah. To get that wheel out, we will need to come back next time with a large lift back, so we can lift it using air. Nevertheless, the day was a great success. We took out a decent portion of the trash already, and we are confident we should be able to get the cave clean in a few more dives. For those of you wondering whether we can stop new trash from getting in, the divers have told me that they only find old trash in this cave. We, well, we are confident based on that we don't find any new waste. So like all the stuff are quite old and like already rusty and stuff. So uh, some actually have historic value. Like today we had uh, this bicycle uh, taken out, which is probably like a, a unique, uh, you know, now it's like a, a very, very interesting. Uh, but um, we are sure that now people, because we get involved with, uh, with local people, they help out and also they get a, a kind of a sense of that somebody, you know, uh, uh, should care about this kind of system. So it's actually we don't find any, any new waste as much as we see in this kind of system. Well, occasionally in some, but this area here, I must say, is really good and, and people already are much more focused to tourism than to, let's say, industry. Yeah. And so this is when you get this kind of switch that I would say when we remove it now, I don't expect that uh, we'll find any big quantities in the future. If you made it this far into the video and you're not a member yet, please consider checking out our Mossy Earth membership. For the price of a couple of Starbucks every month, you will be planting trees with us and funding highly targeted rewilding and conservation projects such as this one. We focus on getting the most bang for your buck in terms of restoring and protecting nature by working with key species and fragile ecosystems in different regions. This project to help the old is a great example and it falls under one of my favorite programs called The Ugly Ones, which aims to support less charismatic species and ecosystems that are underfunded and underprotected. So if you're curious, head over to mossy.earth to learn more. Till next time, cheers!